What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be taking a look at the European Club Championship Player of the Week. So don't worry, we'll do all the rest of these as well and have builds and have guides and everything and talk about the reviews of them and review the players in-game on our live streams. Of course, we'll do that as well. But we are going to be checking out the European Club Player of the Weeks this today in this video. I think this is one of the best packs that they've released, especially for newcomers or especially if you're playing Road to Glory or Free to Play. This can be a very, very, very fun pack. And you have really got a good chance of getting a, a, a boss level player. Like, not quite a meta level player. They don't compare with, like, the likes of Trent and Lamb and Rijkaard and Vieira, Romario, Saviola. But there are some brilliant cards in here that are definitely going to be fun to use. So again, they're in a box of 11. You've got 100 coins per spin. You get 3 spins and you get your free spin as well with the events. This is the pack. Firstly, Gavardiel goes to 100 overall. He's an absolute beast with the booster. A fantastic card as an attack and full back. To have those defensive skills, ridiculous. Defensive engagement and aggression, really, really nice. Speed, acceleration, stamina, physical contact, jumping. And of course, the heading with tight possession and low pass. Very, very important now for center backs or left backs that you want to play a little bit of ball with. You also have the technique plus three. And you have got some really nice player skills. Man marking, interception, blocker, aerial superiority, and fighting spirit. I definitely think Gavardiel is like endgame level CB if you do spin for him and if you are starting off it remains to be seen whether he can stack up as the game goes up to divisions uh two and one but he's a fantastic card you also have valverde just to kind of cross him off i know that they've added a new barella with the free inter milan pack this valverde lads i've played a lot with valverde he's a he's a demon man he is a demon very very nice card again with the booster i would play him cmf don't worry too much about his rmf uh position or that he's you know down as a right midfielder and that's his overall his cmf rating is going to be ridiculously good he's got tight possession low pass he's also got finishing which is quite unique for a box to box kind of reminds me of goretzka the really beastly version of goretzka from way back when but faster and more mobile while still having that aggression defensive engagement and tackling with huge stamina so it's a brilliant brilliant card again track back interception fighting spirit but he also has dip and shot long range shooting acrobatic finishing first time shot long range curler and one touch passing true passing very very nice card i think if you don't get barella valverde is pretty much the perfect replacement for him if you're used to playing with bellingham valverde can do that similar job as well if you're used to playing with the likes of Vieira, obviously they're not going to compare to those legends, but you can still have fun with these cards. Even talking about the weakest card on this selection here, lads. Honestly, Gnabry and Rafinha with Nacho are probably the three weakest. I would say Bernardo Silva for a 95 overall is kind of a, kind of a fake 95 overall. He doesn't have the best individual stats, but he does have tight possession, ball control and balance, which are going to massively inflate his overall. So that is something to watch out for, even though he's got unwavering form. He has double touch, long range curler and shooting, one touch pass, true passing and low lofted pass. It's a very, very nice card, but I definitely feel that he could have been a better card. Like he should have had outside curler. Oh, he does have outside curler. Sorry. First time shot is what I was going to say there as a creative playmaker. It's a nice card. You're going to get the manager boost with all of these. It's the same with Manuel Neuer. Very solid goalkeeper, reflexes and reach. He's a big giant in, in, in the goals and he's got all the player skills that you could possibly want. Catch and lets him down, but then again, if a goalkeeper is going to concede a goal, there's nothing you can do. It doesn't matter if you've got Schmeichel um, in goals with Seaman, you know, there as well. It doesn't matter if you've got Czech and Schmeichel in goals together. The goals are going to go in, it's going to go in. Gnabry is the same. You've got a pace, demon, acceleration, balance type possession and dribbling. And also with Rafinha, he's going to have speed, acceleration. His balance is a bit weak. His type possession is a bit weak, but he's got finishing, ball control and attack and awareness. They've got similar player skills. None of these cards have got soul control. So double touch and flip flap or else double touch and soul control without flip flap. So they don't have the ball roll, but the rest of the card is quite kind of nice. Obviously, Rafinha has been having a good season apart from the last couple of weeks. Gnabry's having a good season as well. And as you can see, see their soul control he doesn't have double touch or flip flap so he doesn't have ball roll you can't give it to him either because they're player of the weeks so you can't train him so they are the cards that are kind of the weakest even with nacho here he still has 90 plus in defensive engagement tackling and defensive awareness when you're using uh the new alonso uh or you're using guardiola so speed and acceleration are quite decent physically he's very strong he's very mobile He's actually quite a decent player as well, and he's probably the worst there, but he's got blocker, interception, man marking, area superiority, acrobatic clearance, fighting spirit, and slight and tackle, as well as man marking and way to pass. So it's a very, very nice card as well if you're looking for somebody that's a destroyer and you just happen to spin him. So those five players there, 
including Bernardo Silva, and I will probably throw Griezmann in as well. They're kind of guys that you're not really going to play too much, I don't think. There is a big-time version of Griezmann coming. It's already up on the database, and I think it's going to be a fantastic card as well. I do think that Griezmann is definitely a required taste. He's not a card that's going to excel for you unless you play him exactly how he should be played. Is literally touch and go and getting on to the end of stuff. You know, he's not strong. He's not rocket fast. He's not as mobile as other deep line forwards like the free Neymar. But he does have pink hair. So, yeah, he is kind of cool looking. D double touch, rising shot, chip shot control, first time and one touch pass. Very nice card. He doesn't have low lofted. He doesn't have weighted pass. I would definitely be playing him as an AMF or an SS, a creative player, even though he's down as a deep line forward. Bernardo Silva, we've touched on there as well, and Valverde. The three remaining players that I would be talking about would be Jesus, number one. He's going to have a pretty decent card. It's not the best card. It's probably one of the worst cards of Jesus that they've released, but it's still a very good deep line forward card. And especially his AI with track back and super sub, as well as a couple of other player skills. There again, you see it. What I've been talking about all along, about Konami balancing certain cards, double touch and soul control, but no flip flap. So you can't do that ball roll. You can't train ball roll. So that's why cards with ball roll that are deep line forwards like Neymar are so effective because they have that in their arsenal acceleration speed kicking power jumping very solid card a lot of 80s there a lot of high 80s but yeah it's not going to be a card that will you know light it up or compare with Saviola or Romario but these cards are definitely for newcomers I think that have missed out on these cards uh previously and they are they're brilliant cards they're just below end game depending on how good you are at the game these can be end game cards for you that you never need upgrade from if you're a beast at the game and if you're, you know, learning the game, they're a brilliant introduction to really good, high-rated cards. Dembele, you know what you're getting with him. You've got speed, acceleration, balance, tight possession and dribbling. He's got his booster, bomb, ball control and finishing. are going to get a boost with that to the plus three shooting. And of course, you're going to have double touch, soul control, but no flip-flap again. But we do have the rest of the skills quite nice, including true pass and pinpoint crossing and scissors feint, which is always nice. Dip and shot, rising shot, heel trick, always nice as well. And then to round it off, we have Hakimi. Listen, Hakimi just leads. Hakimi is not going to compare as an attacking fullback with Trent or Philip Lam, who they've added. It's just not going to happen because the, Trent and Lam have no weaknesses in their game. You can see with Hakimi here, his ball control, his low passing, his attacking awareness, and his balance is all are all poor. You've got Philip Lam, who's got like 90 plus in defense, speed, acceleration, balance, stamina, pretty much everything perfect. So these cards are definitely more an introduction if you don't spin that often, you know, that you can just get really beastly cards that are probably about 90% as good as Philip Lamb, depending on the system you have with him here. Very good player skills. I do like Akimi, he's a fantastic card. But let me know, I think it's a very good player of the week selection. Gavardiel, Valverde, if you get one of those, happy days. The rest of the cards are not bad at all to fill out your squad if you're a newcomer or to put into your squad if you are just starting the game very fresh. And if you have been playing the game for a while and you're staying free to play, these are some fun cards as well, which... Video games are meant to be fun, so you can have some fun with these cards. It's not all about the meta players sometimes. But that's it for me, lads. We'll be back with the rest of the reviews. I will see you in the live stream later. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to have a giveaway as well on the live stream, thanks to OC. So we'll get some more details on that. Until then, I'll talk to you in a bit.